Hello, you got Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Smith. And right now, we don't want to take up too much of your time. As usual, we would like to keep it short and sweet, but very informative. And right now, what we want to do is show you what your number one asset is. If you don't have this, you should get one. If you do have this, then you need to position yourself to truly, truly, truly understand this. Your home-based business can arguably be your number one asset. And this is just an example. Talk to him, Ms. Smith. All right. So what we're going to show you on this sheet of paper um, that you're looking at is a lot of the tax deductions that you qualify for with having a home-based business. Now, don't quote us on the numbers because things do fluctuate. You know, the numbers, the percentages, um, what you get to write off. We're not telling you all of that. We're just giving you an example to show you how your home and your business can be your number one asset and bring additional money into your household off of the bills that you're already paying. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, now the first thing is your rent or your mortgage. Let's say you pay about $1,000 a month, all right, and you get to write off about 20% of that rent or mortgage, okay? That's about $200 a month. Yearly, that's $2,400 that you get to write off. Your utilities, let's say you pay about $500. At 20%, it's $100 which is $1,200 a year. All right, then let's take your cell phone bill. Let's say you pay about $100 for your cell phone bill and you use it for business um, <clears throat> most of the time. Well, you could get to write off about 85% of your cell phone bill. What's 85% of $100? $85. Yearly, that's $1,020. All right, then we have your mileage. Now, the mileage is one of those things that fluctuates. But in this example, you can get paid 56 cents per mile. And let's just take that mileage for the whole year instead of monthly. That can bring you an additional $5,600 into your household under the tax deductions. Then you have your meals and entertainment. If you're going out to eat and you're discussing business or you're, you know, speaking to the waitress about your business, 50% of your meals can be written off. Let's say you spend $200 a month um, on meals and entertainment. Now that's meals and entertainment. All right. $200 at 50%. That's $100 a month. Yearly, $1,200. Then we also have your internet. Let's say you pay about $50 a month for internet. 100% of that is tax deductible. So that's $50 a month and $600 a year. So your total deductions is $12,020. So in this worksheet, we're going to take that same number. You see the arrow here. And we're going to bring that over. So we have $12,020. And now let Mr. Smith actually take it away from here. Now let's just say, for example, that you fall into the tax bracket that a lot of people do, which is the 30% tax bracket. If that's the tax bracket you fall in, you having these tax deductions by being a home-based business owner who understands tax deductions, you have allowed yourself to bypass, I don't want to say avoid, but bypass 30% of taxes that you would have paid. So that's $3,606 that you would have been paying in taxes, but because you had tax deductions, you was able to bypass those taxes. Now, let's just say, for instance, you got a little busy in the business and you just did a little something, enough to earn about $200 a month for an annual amount of about $2,400 in the business. Just doing a little something to earn some income in your business. All right, now when you do the math on the $3,600 and $6 
plus the 2400 keep in mind the 3600 is taxes that you didn't have to pay so that's net cash flow back into your pocket for a total of six thousand and six dollars now i want y'all to understand that number that's cash flow back into your household in that year of six thousand dollars just for good numbers in order for you to earn six thousand dollars in investments if you understand investments if you invest your money in the bank who is paying a hundred, I mean, paying 1%, if that, you would have to have $600,000 in the bank in order to yield yourself $6,000 within a year. Or if you wanted to scale up and put it in some other type of bond fund or something and you earn yourself 3%, you would have to have $200,000 in that investment account in order to bring yourself back six thousand dollars or let's say you found a you know somewhat of a better investment fund and there are plenty that are better than these three let's say you put it in something that yielded you six percent you would have to have at least a hundred thousand dollars in an investment account to bring you back that six thousand dollars now what makes the most sense to you to have 600000 in an account earning 1%, 200000 in an account earning 2%, 100000 in an account earning 6%, or you just investing in yourself, starting a home-based business for $179 to bring you back the same $6,000 that those six-figure numbers brought you. I mean, you do the math. If you know anything about investments, a 179 investment is nothing in comparison to six figures. They can bring you $6,000 back into your household, partially off of tax deductions alone. The big half came from tax deductions alone. Then you made a little bit in the business. And keep in mind, this is only six of the tax deductions and there are hundreds of tax deductions that you qualify for. So all we're saying to you is this. Your business once you understand how the laws work, and that's what we specialize in, your business is your number one asset. Strategize your way to wealth. Quit working hard. Work is not equivalent to, you know, wealth. It's not. So strategize your way to wealth. Increase your cash flow. Do some good things with that cash flow. Invest wholesale instead of retail. Invest in yourself. Invest in a business and strategize your way to wealth. Definitely, definitely. Now, we know that this is a lot of numbers. If it didn't all sink in the first time, play this video back as much as possible. We are here to educate. Definitely here to educate. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And that's all I have. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Signing out.